This is one I've uh, been looking forward to opening for uh, a little while now. This is from Dennis Ponzio uh, of Zio Guitars. And he has sent me something very, very, very special here. To the guitologist, Brad Lindsay. Hello Brad, after nine months your custom signature model ZO Meteorite is finally finished. Uh, it was truly an honor and a blast to make this one of a kind guitar for you and I hope it meets your expectations. Yeah, well, let's take a look at it. Uh, I'm really excited about this. This is basically my first uh, signature model guitar right here. So this is history uh, that we're witnessing. At least, at least for me it is, you know. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that or if you did not know, uh, Dennis uh, sent me a Zio guitar in the past. Uh, I will put a link uh, up in the top right-hand corner of your screen there if you want to check out the first guitar that he sent me. It's also been featured in a lot of my previous videos. Uh, I do demos with that guitar all the time. I love the shit out of it. Um, and it's been one of my go-to guitars for the past uh, couple of years since he made it for me. Um, yeah, I just really love the hell out of it. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to also, uh, uh, you know, fix up a couple of my other guitars, do some uh, setup work and some restrings on a couple of other ones that I haven't used for a while, um, including the Zio need to get that out and restring it and stuff it's it's you know it's kind of that time to uh, start restringing some stuff and getting it all in more playable order but let's see what Dennis has sent here man I, you know what he sent me kind of some preliminary shots of uh, the color that it was going to be and all that kind of stuff and let me choose the color and I know what kind of pickups it's going to have because I chose the pickups um, chose the tailpiece and all that sort of thing we're probably going to have to refer back to that letter here in a minute, I'm sure, because I forget all the specs that we picked out. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so I'm so fucking excited about this. The, the reason I'm so excited about this, you're going to see it in a minute, because I have dreamed about making this guitar... Not like this, but uh, something very, very similar for a long time. And man, he has done it. He has done it. Uh, this has only the best stuff on it, dude. This is this has got um, this has got the Descendant uh, Tremolo system on here. Um, is that what these are? Yeah, it's the Descendant Tremolo. Oh my God. Yeah, this, let me read this again. Okay, so <laughs> let's unpack it and then we'll read it. I don't even know what to do first. Holy shit. Holy shit. This thing is awesome. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, I'm not even putting it on. I'm not putting it on right now. This thing is, the color is fucking killer. <gasps> Look at it. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. So I presume, I presume you can order one of these. Like this is my signature model. So I presume you can order one of these from him. If you want a Guitologist signature uh, Zio, call him up and order one. And I guess he'll build you one too in whatever color you want. But holy shit, I'm so glad I chose it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So he reworked the headstock. He reworked the headstock, made it larger. Holy shit, look at this thing. Look at this thing. 
can you see it? I hope you can see this, what I'm looking at. This is just, wow. Oh man, let's get this out of here. Let's get this out of here. Oh dude, look at that. Ebony fretboard, block inlays, the pickups, the electronics is what I'm really most excited about with this thing. But look at it. Look at this thing. <laughs> look at it. It's killer. He's got my signature in the pick guard. Is it inlaid? I guess it's inlaid, laser etched, something like that, into the pick guard. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. So he redid the headstock, uh, and you know, I advised him that he probably would want to do that, and that is so cool. Look what he's done here. So he's beveled this. It's I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's beveled, and he's got he's got the uh, the body color picked up on the headstock. Look how sexy! Look how fucking sexy that looks. Holy shit! That is one sexy looking guitar, folks. I don't know what your idea of sexy is, but for me, that's it. Look at that. Wow. Okay, yeah, let's let's bring this guy a little closer so you can get, I think this is a little better camera, particularly in the light conditions that we have at the moment. Let me open this front door so you can get should have done that from the very beginning. I don't know what, what I was thinking. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at it. Look at the color of this thing. Holy shit. Dude. Okay, so I was about to, I, I keep getting started and I, I can't, uh, I can't continue because I'm so excited about it. Dude. So he had me write my signature several times out um, and, uh, I said, just choose one that whichever one you think is the best. So I had a whole sheet of signatures, you know, where I had signed my name over and over again. And my my wife came over here and she uh, she found it and she was like, she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> she's like, what are you practicing your signature for? <laughs> she thought I was being just a pretentious prick, which maybe I was, but dude, okay, so. Um, these bridges, these are the best, uh, these are the best version of this bridge that you can buy, the Descendant. Uh, from, from everything that I read, these were about the best you could get. That's about the best version of that bridge also that you can get. These are highly adjustable and they fix a lot of the problems that the actual Defender have in their designs. So, okay, so let me explain the electronics. These are uh, Duncan P-Rails. Uh, I called Duncan and asked them if they wanted to contribute to this project. They were going to do that, uh, but they did not have P-Rails in stock uh, over the pandemic. They were going to send me uh, some, but they just did not have them, and they did not have these pickup surrounds. Okay, I want to cut in here with some voiceover because I was going by memory on the specs of these pickups and mounting rings, and I want to be factually correct. The pickups are Seymour Duncan P-Rails. If you're not familiar with these pickups, they combine a single coil with a rail magnet and a traditional P90-style pickup side-by-side -side to give you a choice between any of three major types, P90, single coil, or humbucker. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the mounting rings. Those are what Duncan call the triple shot mounting rings, and they're especially useful when combined with these pickups. They allow for the selection of either P90 alone, single coil alone, both coils in series for the traditional humbucker sound, or both coils in parallel, which ventures into those Stratocaster two and four position type sounds. Overall, this setup gives you a ton of flexibility and will be particularly nice for me when demoing amps. This has always intrigued me. I've always wanted a guitar with this setup because I think this offers a really nice mix of uh, different pickup settings. You know, you can get humbucker, you can get single coil, or you can get P90 out of the same pickup in each position. I mean, how fucking cool is that? So if you turn this 
coil off, for instance, you've got a P90 over here. So this one would be in P90 mode. You could turn them both on. I don't know which way is which. I, I presume forward is on. But you could turn them all on and you got two humbuckers. You know, dual humbucker. Or you could have this one as a humbucker and this one as a, as a single coil rail by turning maybe the P90 off. This one is going to be used going forward in a lot of demos of amps. But uh, look at this neck. I mean, look at the back of the guitar, but also look at the neck on this thing. Again, he's just really outdone himself just with the, how nice the neck is. Look at this. That's interesting. That's really interesting right there. Man, I'm just, I'm, I'm gobsmacked once again. He's got the, uh, those are the really nice ebony buttons on there, locking tuners. But look at that neck. Oh my God. This thing is just, this thing is silly. <laughs> it's my first signature, it's my, it's a proper signature guitar, dudes. He could make you one of these. <laughs> a Guitologist Signature Zio Meteorite. How about that? I'm just, oh my God. And look at it against this carpet. That's a hell of a picture right there. Check that out. This will be even a cooler picture. Let's see if, did he? No, he did not. <laughs> no, he did not. He sent me another uh, Native Sun strap. Are you serious? To go with the guitar. How freaking cool. Okay, so check this out. This is what was in the, uh, the extras. So he gave me the rest of the pickup leads that were cut off of the, of the P-Rail pickups. I mean, how conscientious is that? That's really nice of him. And then this pick, um, this pick came with the knobs. So these knobs apparently are Maximum Guitar Works knobs from Colorado. I guess that's where they were made. They are super, super nice. I, you know, I've, I've been playing with them since I've uh, had this guitar out. I've been sitting here moving them around. I, they've got the, I love these because they've got the little bit of rubber inset in here. They're like, uh, I think they're aluminum. And they've got that rubber inset, which makes them really nice and slick and speedy. I love that. That's like uh, some of the... I, I think Ibanez did that for a long time. They might still be doing it on some guitars. Man, this thing is decked the fuck out. <laughs> Look at it. And and who doesn't feel important, you know, with your name on... on and, you know, business name and everything on a guitar, you know, that's your guitar. That's so freaking cool. I feel like Joe Maphis or, or uh, Merle Travis or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> the redesigned headstock really does look great. I think it's better than the Fender one. That's a stroke of genius, picking up that color from the body like that. Dude, I love it. That's a great idea. I love the light wood on, bl on the black ebony. For block inlays, that I, I, that was my choice, and uh, I think I chose wisely. You have chosen wisely. So what else did we have in here? So we had the, okay, so that's what they are. The triple shot switch uh, switching mounting rings. Okay, so you've got a couple different uh, ways to wire these, and if you wire them the standard way, and you switch both of them inward like that, you get a series humbucker. Uh, switch them out. You get a parallel humbucker. Uh, the adjustable coil is on. And the slug coil is on. If you switch both that way. Okay, so it's a little more, it's a little bit different than what I had thought, but. I guess you can use those rings with uh, standard humbuckers and use those to um, to put your coils in, in any configuration that you want and have your switches up here instead of having like push-pull switches on knobs down here or toggle switches or whatever. You know, there are different ways of doing it. 
So that might be preferable to some people to have those there. But I am really looking forward to testing this thing out on some amps, um, some vintage amps. He gave me all the tools that I'm going to need for the truss rod and for everything to adjust. There's the keys for the case. There is the whammy bar. Let's put that on. Oh, shit. Let's see that on there. And this is a, this is a push-in bar. I believe... Do you have to... I think you have to give it a slight push, don't you? I'm not sure. I have to figure that part out. I think you might have to adjust something in order to get to get the push lock to lock right. I don't know. I'm not sure. But there it is. And look, oh man, this thing is so smooth. I can tell already. That is just that is gonna that rocks. Oh, I love it. I love it already. It's killer. Um. Uh, strap locks just like with the other guitar that he sent. I'm gonna open this up and see what uh, See what native sons goods strap he chose to send along with this thing Okay, so opening uh, native sons goods strap is always a uh, Is always a very nice thing. It's just a it's an experience in itself if you haven't had the experience I highly recommend it um, You know they they were one-time sponsor of this channel uh, for a long time actually and, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe if I asked them again, they would want to be eventually. But uh, if you have not checked out Native Sons Goods, you know, even though they're not currently a sponsor, they have been in the past and they were a big supporter of this channel. Definitely support these guys. Uh, if you love boutique quality stuff that is heirloom quality, that'll last a lifetime, these guys are fantastic. Um, love their stuff. It's so, so well made. So this is one of the ones, I don't think I have this one. Uh, this is Horizon in Midnight. I, I've got a similar one, but it's not exactly this color. So this is one of their uh, hand-woven Mayan uh, Serape straps with the hemp backing. How, how geeky uh, is it for somebody to be this excited about a strap? I mean, I'm, I'm just... I always get excited about straps. Love my vintage straps, um, but I also love just high quality. I love high quality handmade things, man. I just appreciate the workmanship that goes into something like this. And oh my god, and you know, just every little thing that they do. It's like the the little embossing on the tag, you know, and um, the the very nicely labeled and stamped. Uh, packaging you know for all my other native sons good straps I even I held on to the packaging for the longest time I think I just threw some of it away because it was like I had too much stuff and I had to throw some get rid of some things and I really didn't want to but uh, even the packaging it's kind of hard to throw away because it's just so nicely done but yeah I mean you see what I mean this is like English bridal uh, leather on the the leather portions you know it's all hand stitched it's very nicely done it's stitched but it's also riveted four times in that tongue right there and the tongue is doubled on both sides this thing will last until the end of time this i mean this will be on the earth with the cockroaches and rats at the end of civilization i guess and dick cheney too you know he'll be there as well <laughs> with his bionic heart <laughs> I believe this hemp right here is, is USA made. I think they may have had to import the larger size hemp. The last time I talked to them, they said they were importing this still because they couldn't find it in the larger size. But this right here is um, USA made hemp. Um, again, the Serape is, is made by uh, Mayan people of uh, uh, Central America. I love it. I love the shit out of it. My first signature guitar. I am quite over the moon. Thank you so much, Dennis, and holy shit. Okay, Dennis had sent me a few clips and pictures of the build process on this guitar. I thought I would stick those here on the end of the video. So enjoy those, and for now, we'll see y'all later.